physical properties of alkanes particularly boiling point if the video become too long I will stick myself to boiling point and then I will make another video in which I will explain melting point of alkanes in my previous video where I discussed about functional groups I have described what are alkanes alkanes are functional groups that contain saturated single bond alkanes contain single bond so that's it simple alkanes so alkanes are like examples of alkanes are methane ethane propane butane and so on and so forth and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and like and share put your comments in this video below okay in boiling point I will describe three important factors boiling point of alkane we are not discussing boiling point what is boiling point or what are the factors affecting boiling point this video is all about boiling point of alkanes that's it so number one factor in boiling point of alkanes is the alkanes have low boiling point this is the first point I'm giving you guys boiling point so in later part of the video I will just write BP for boiling point compared to more polar compounds of comparable size so you need to remember this point so if you have polar compounds even though the number of carbons is same or the molecular weight is almost same so they will have more higher boiling point than alkane for example let's consider this example say this is CH3 CH2 CH3 the molecular weight for this compound is 44 and another example we'll take which is not alkane that is CH3 CHO ethane aldehyde again the molecular weight of this compound is 44 now can I ask you guys a question which of these two compounds is going to have higher boiling point even though their molecular weight is same but to answer these questions is easy and simple don't confuse yourself with the molecular weight look for the interactions polarity so alkanes are least polar and aldehydes are more polar in compared to these two compounds so aldehyde is going to have more higher boiling point than alkane so boiling point of this particular compound propane is minus 42 look at that how low it is because alkanes do not contain pi bond no any particular polar structures that's why they have low uh, boiling point and what is the boiling point of this form aldehyde is 21 look at the huge difference between the boiling point of two similar weight molecular compounds okay and what type of interactions are present in the alkanes alkanes contain interaction that's wonder walls so i will write vwd that is van der walls so yeah right forget about it and what type of interactions are available in ethanoldehyde two types one is vwd because of methyl group and dd dd is dipole moment because of carbonyl group in aldehyde carbon and oxygen so as you can see this is more polar that's why it has higher boiling point than this one even though both have same molecular weight we can say that this way so increasing I'm giving you this tip increasing the strength of the intermolecular forces increases the boiling point. There is only one type of interaction in alkane, hence the boiling point is low. There are two types of interaction in formaldehyde, boiling point is high. 
this was the first point let's discuss the second point so boiling point increases as the number of carbons increases because of increased surface area okay so for example we have compound ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 the boiling point of this compound is 0 uh, 0 degree centigrade if we consider a higher member of alkene like how many carbons here 1 2 3 4 4 carbon or we can write this structure as this 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 okay so how about if we increase one carbon from 4 to 5 right so 5 now i mean these two structures are pretty much same but just the trying structures is different so let's make this one here to ch3 now it has five carbons this has four carbons look at the difference in boiling point it's huge the boiling point now is 36 degrees centigrade by just increasing one carbon but th this was the point i was making here in this one so if you increase the number of carbons like here the number of carbon is four c's four carbons here is the five c's in this five c's so the boiling point increases if you go higher then the more carbons six one six carbons if you increase one more so this is five and if you increase one more carbon here this becomes six carbon and if i write down this structure in a more similar way six now ch2 uh, ch3 now six carbon now let's see the boiling point of this is 69 look at the huge difference in boiling point from 36 to 69 it's very huge very huge compared to four carbons five carbons and six carbons massive difference in boiling point so remember if you higher go from 7 8 9 10 20 30 50 boiling point will keep increasing because more surface area they will need and higher will be the boiling point so surface area is directly proportional to boiling point in surface area increases boiling point increases i hope you got my concept now number three and last point about the boiling point of alkanes is the boiling point of isomers like isomers of alkanes okay not do not translate this concept to other functional groups or other areas of chemistry stick yourself to alkanes the boiling point of isomers of alkanes decreases with branching because decreased surface area okay so in order to explain this point let me explain first to what so these are the straight chain alkanes no branching okay linear alkanes we can say linear alkanes are no branching if i put some group on it like here so it's mono substituted mono means it has one substituent if I keep on going so it's 
getting branches. So this is a branch, new branch. Again, this is a new branch. Okay, so die for substituted or branched. So this is what I mean. So now hope you got the concept. So boiling point of osmosis decreases with branching because decreased surface area. As we as branching increases, the boiling point is okay. Here, let's sum up this area in this one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm, let's push me, push them down a little bit.